sort of always working on cookbooks and I keep changing my uh, my goals and stuff. But in any case, a lot of these are old family uh, recipes or recipes from friends that have given me. And I um, see like peanut pie from Hazel Perry, see this kind of thing. <laughs> I was originally thinking of some kind of magnum opus, but I really think now times have changed, people, things are funny, the mood's different, and I think actually something sort of modest and comforting might be in order, an old fashioned. And that looks just about perfect. All right, well, it's been about a half an hour, and look at this gorgeous color this is taking on. Okay, right out of the oven, and are they not gorgeous? Look at these, they're beautiful, and they're real puffy. It's, go back, here we go, there we go, puffy. Struggling with this foam stand as always. We're gonna make tomato sandwiches today. I'm um, gonna we'll talk about them as I go there. There's a lot of lore and baggage with tomato sandwiches that don't, uh, considering how simple they are, almost doesn't make any sense, but whatever. It's something we all seem to have grown up with in the South, I don't, maybe everywhere, I don't know, but it's sort of something that everybody shares some, some memory or opinion of the tomato sandwich. Never, ever, ever buy artisanal bread to make tomato sandwiches, right? It's supposed to be plain, it's supposed to be floppy. Now here comes the trouble. This is not either Duke's nor Hellman's. So there's a story behind mayonnaise. Mayonnaise causes fights. Now I've always thought, actually I got sick of the mayonnaise fight years ago and I would always say, just use what your grandmama used and shut up. It was my answer to that problem. So there's a kid living on my couch now, which he used to work for me at Crook's Corner. He ended up, uh, he works construction now. He was here in high school. And one day he came in, so I replaced the mayonnaise and he had this, mayonnaise and it's made with lime juice. And so rather than be rude, I just said, okay, fine, this is, use it. and it's really good. So I guess this will start the phones ringing, don't you think? I can't wait to hear, hear about this. I'm, I'm breaking every, every, I'm killing every sacred cow. Okay, here we go. But you don't want the stem in your sandwich. And ideally, one slice per sandwich. And this is good and thick and juicy. That's all, yeah, that's fine. Doesn't that look good? It looks good already, doesn't it? So, um, and then salt. And I say I have this nice salt from down the Outer Banks. And this is the whole recipe. And now I always do this. This makes them easier to eat. And traditionally, this is so messy that you have to go stand over the sink. This one isn't quite that juicy yet, but anyway. Here you go. Bell hatch. Look fabulous. <laughs> Yum. Is there kind of some beauty and simplicity when it comes to food? It is to me. Well, I, I think actually that's what makes it, it makes it a surprise. It's like that stupid pie of mine that's really easy to make. It's so easy, people can't believe how good it is. Same thing with these sandwiches. It's so easy, it shouldn't. It shouldn't be so good because it's so effortless. You know, it's, it's like, what? I mean, everybody knows, I mean, there's nobody that's surprised by that now, but it is that sort of part of the mystique. It's like, it's really, really good. And it's, it takes like three seconds. <laughs> there's not, not many things like that, I suspect, so. Well, I always say about this profession, I've said it for a long time, is that actually it, it's not the food, it's the company that you're eating the food with. It really makes the best dinner to me. Uh, these videos are funny. I, I have a following now. It's sort of weird. It's like, and when I said I, I, did, I didn't want to do any more, I got all this, wait a minute, you have to. You can't stop now. So, <laughs> so I'm still doing them. So. <laughs> and maybe, that, maybe that's what it is. Maybe I'm trying to, to somehow keep feeding people even though I can't get to them or whatever. But. <laughs>